How's it going everybody? So today I have something really unusual for you and this is a threesome. This is a threesome between three mollusks, three sea slugs. These are not neuropranks, these are pleuropranks, genus is pleuropankos and I saw this during a night dive in the Philippines underwater in actually less than two meters of water water and then these animals we are just really getting it on three of them fascinating so these are hermaphrodites meaning each animal is a functional male and functional female at the same time yeah so this is a close-up of one of these they live in the seagrass areas on the shores where I often dive. And yeah, so the, the gastropod mollusks, they're like your garden snails. And as these garden snails, like these garden snails, each of these is a male and a female at the same time. So then often you see them mating, two of them, and there are already two combinations of how they can potentially mate and uh, this of course explodes during a threesome and these are actually not very small animals they're about the size of a large hand and it's always really interesting to find them at night beautiful saturated red color now to come to the mathematics of this what is going on here so we have three of these animals and they're mating and each can act as a male and as a female so here one is fertilizing another but you know that also can happen mutually and when there are three of them doing it at the same time they're each of these can fertilize the other one so how many possible combinations are there what is the total number of combinations possible please post your answer in the link in the comments now this is another sea slug i believe it's a, a plesia a sea here you can see how strong the current was during this night dive which we did and you can also see the snow no what's the snow is damage to my camera no these are small crustaceans this is plankton which was very dense that night and then the plankton gets uh, very quickly attracted to my video light so like mosquitoes uh, on land they you know they flock towards sources of light and this oblivion really had a hard time crawling there you can see how it was rocked back and forth so here is a close-up on the head of this aplesia and you can see that uh, again this is like in a sandstorm this is like a camera through the sahara desert now very interesting here we also saw a hard urchin this is like a, one of these asymmetrical like sea urchins and as soon as it saw me it dug itself into the sand very shy very shy of light and very spectacular we saw these small cephalopods this a bumblebee squid and they were uh, also digging themselves into the sand when they saw us when they saw our dive lights and but they kept their keen eyes out uh, to look out what's going on and you can see the siphon so that they were still breathing obviously while they were under the sand and they were watching us just as much as we were watching them every time i night dive i see unusual and fascinating things if you have a camera with a good macro mode or with a good macro lens things get even more amazing um, I can't wait to do another night dive. Now, please like, subscribe, leave comments. Uh, if you really want to support the channel, there's my PayPal in the description as well. And see you in a couple of days.